Hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, just with another pickups video. Uh, picked up a bunch of really weird stuff, uh, not a lot of games per se, but uh, here they are. To start out with, uh, the only toy that I picked up, and it's a Transformer, it's from 2008 and it's called Skyfall. Apparently he was a Walmart exclusive. Uh, got him for 65 cents. He doesn't have any of the other parts, but he does transform completely. And the batteries even work, so he still does the cool... And he also makes the transforming noise when you transform him. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you've never seen Transformers. But, two free games that I did pick up, because uh, uh, free stuff is always cool. Uh, I picked up a PC copy of The Seventh Guest. I do also have the book with it. I just don't have the book with me right now. And also a sealed copy of Descent 2. Now, for those of you old PC gamers, Descent... The Descent series is one of the ones that was kind of groundbreaking because it was in a full 3D environment. And you could actually roam around in that 3D environment to where when you turned your ship upside down, the whole map was now upside down. It wasn't pretend upside down on the screen. Uh, found a scrim deal on some power cables, so I bought them uh, for the Genesis 2 and for the Nintendo 64. Now I can have uh, backup power supplies, and in this case, I actually have a power supply for my spare 64, which is a gray one, not the orange one that I normally use. I got two kind of weird controllers this week, and starting out, one is the Radica Gamester FPS Maximum Control. What is that? What is it? The Master Controller for the Xbox. Now. This beast is just weird. And it's really cool though, because you've got the sticks here, you've got all the buttons over on the side. You've also got buttons in down here. So the idea is while you're holding it, like this, and let me get that hand, you can actually just push buttons like that. It's got a trigger. And you can push all the buttons without ever taking your hands off the thumbsticks. Now, it takes a lot of getting used to, because this is really, really weird. You can also program it to do cool stuff and keep track of there. But, I actually like this controller. And for the second controller, I found one. This is a Sidewinder. Now, this is actually the Sidewinder Precision 2. And if you can see the price there, it was $2.99 originally, it's upside down. But I actually got it half off, so I got it for about two bucks with tax. And, okay, so, I'll now be doing a proper review on uh, Mech Warrior sometime in the future. But here's, you take the control, this is how you move it. You move back and forth. This is the throttle that actually makes your mech move. So the more throttle you are, the more, when you push, it goes forward. And this is what will tilt you, your torso buttons. This is what will move your head around. And then you've got all the buttons down here as well. Now I did use this with uh, Jamestown. And it works beautifully. Like I said, for two bucks, originally these were in the neighborhood of anywhere from $50 to $100 back in the day. And considering, especially bonus, this is USB. Alright gang, uh, Jack Lair just jumping in here real quick. I did forget to show you that I did get this uh, PlayStation case. It's got the nice drawer in there. I still have to clean it up, but uh, one of the things I did want to kind of commend, I don't think they watch, but the place that I go to, they actually wrote the price on the inside on the nice flat stuff, so that's going to be nice and easy to clean rather than writing it on the textured top, which is kind of a nightmare. But uh, I return you to the uh, regularly scheduled pickups video. Now, on to the fun part, the games. Starting out on PC, I picked up X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter The Academy. Now, this contains levels from uh, the original X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter game, one of the better games that was ever released on PC. One of the better Star Wars games in general, in my opinion. Picked up a sealed copy of C-12. Final Resistance for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I kind of hate that it's sealed because I'm going to open it and play it. It's even got the little hanging tab on the back still, but it was uh, dirt cheap, so 
we'll give this a crack because I've never played this before and it all looked pretty cool. It looks kind of a little siphon filtery e to me. On the PlayStation 2, picked up Time Crisis 3. Once again, uh, GameStop is getting rid of all of their PS2 games. Luckily enough, I had already managed to uh, acquire the slipcover and the manual. All I have to do is throw it in the case and have a complete copy of Time Crisis 3. I uh, did pick this up just because it was uh, buy two, get third free as well as the already cheap prices. Uh, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. I know nothing about this game, but it says Neo Geo and Battle, and it's got SNK on there. So, And in the wake of Xeno This and Xeno That, I uh, picked up Xeno Saga Episode 1 for the PlayStation 2. It came uh, with the manual and everything. I don't know what else was in there. I'll have to do a little bit of research. But now, for the two biggest games that I purchased. Yeah, biggest being relative. But let's start with one amazing game. Now the game, the music in this game is amazing. The graphics, eh, a little outdated. But I've been wanting this for years. I saw it on eBay. And I saw that the person was local. Local. So I said, I said hey, can I bring you the money and pick it up right now. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. They're like, no, I only, I only accept payments through PayPal. Fine. Then pay the fees. I don't care. Because I have Warsaw. Warsaw. Now this is the game that I keep telling you people about. This is the game that, that, that just ingrained itself into my childhood self and had me get it. I picked it up, I have played through the first level, and it is still balls hard. Like, just first level, and you know what? Horrible thing is, just like uh, the old, a lot of the old games, your hero hero dies, like you run around with your buddy, your, your good buddy, and he dies, gone. Gone not in the next level and the first level starts you out with a, with a with a buddy and if that buddy dies he's gone for the next level uh, i'm gonna play this through to completion and then i'll do a review on it but amazingly happy to find this game the last game that i did pick up may anger some of you a lot of people seem to have a big problem with digital downloads. Me? I don't. Because when I buy a digital download, I know what I'm getting. Nothing. I'm getting the ability to play the game. I'm getting that experience. I'm not buying anything physical. I'm not buying anything tangible. I am buying the gameplay experience. Now, over the weekend, there was Mother's Day which also happened to be my wedding anniversary, 12 years. I had exactly the right amount of money to spend. So, I bought a, the game, and a lifetime subscription to The Secret World. Now, The Secret World is released by Funcom, and right now they've got about a 50-50 track record with me. Because they gave me Anarchy Online, which was an amazing, amazing, in-depth, meaty, MMO. Now, it took a long time for it to catch up about how PvP would be as awesome as it was in there. Because in that game, PvP, not only was there PvP where you would take on other people, but you would take on other people and you would take out their bases. And then once you took over their bases, you could set up your bases. And you could set up your towers, which would give you bonuses. And then you had to defend those towers, and there were different level ranges, and there were different qualities, and it was just awesome. And then they released expansion after expansion after expansion, and I mean, they released, you had the ability to wear normal armor, you had the ability to wear uh, regular clothes, you could mix and match. It was amazing. Then they released Age of Conan. Now they're going to release The Secret War. Essentially pretend that everything that H.P. Lovecraft, Stephen King, uh, that you've seen on Supernatural, that you've seen on Haven, or all got mashed together 
and you've X Files as well. Mash that all together, make an MMO out of it. And that's what you end up with a secret world. There are three societies. There's the Dragon. There's the Illuminati, and there are the Templar. And I just it looks amazing to me, and the depth that they're going to go through, and if they can give me half of what they gave me with AO, and about a hundred times what they gave me with Age of Conan, I'm good. So that's all I picked up. Now, I, the reason I said that that may uh, irritate some people is that a lot of people are like, oh no, digital is going to ruin game. I've been a PC gamer for a long time, there's a lot of crap that on my PC that doesn't work anymore. There's a lot of crap that I have to hack the holy hell out of to even be able to make it function. But, I can't make it function. Those are my pickups uh, as of late. Uh, I'll be doing some reviews on some of the games that I got, especially Warsong. It'll take me a long time to play through that game because the game is, oh, it's so hard. But, thank you for watching and as always, play on!